hello guys welcome back to my channel technical warehouse so uh, earlier we saw how we uh, created a new uh, url okay which will redirect to our this uh, trial page okay so in this video i'll show you this 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 method what we used it used like http response as normally we uh, gave a string okay so today in this video i'll show you how to use a template okay so template so it should be parallel to these two folders only not inside the project not inside uh, the application okay so i'll create a directory called templates okay so inside template what i'll do i'll uh, create an html file okay which will name as index index html okay so as you see so i'll name this as true color this will come automatically okay in the body i'll say using templates okay so how we can use that so in the views earlier we were passing this http response so what we'll do we'll remove this okay we'll say return render so render we have the first parameter is nothing with the request okay request then the template name so template uh, is nothing but our uh, index.html okay index.html okay so save this and run this so what will happen over here we should get uh, i mean like view something like this title with true color and the body should have like using templates right okay so let's just see so when you run it it is saying that template does not exist okay that index.html does not exist okay so there is something wrong so we come over here you know what is wrong over here see we have created template okay which was not earlier before so now we have to tell the system okay tell the django that uh, there is a uh, template folder okay so you have to look there also okay so no problem we'll go to project and project there is a uh, settings.py file okay so what we'll do okay in this uh, directory okay inside the templates okay we'll tell them to look here also okay so what we'll do os dot path dot join let me query it this will be better okay the base directory django for templates you don't have to like remember everything it's like uh, i can query it there's no issue okay so it is like a uh, base directory and then go to templates you can use this way also okay but i have seen some other ways also but uh, it's okay no problem we'll use this one only the other way i can teach you later for now let's just keep like this only okay let's like use this only okay so inside base directory templates here the base directory must be defined somewhere okay so it is here path dot resolve dot parent dot parent okay so it is already set okay so we'll control save it we'll see whether it's running or not again okay okay oh, i don't see any error let me run it okay so now it rendered right so using templates so instead of just passing a i mean like a string as a http response we are rendering okay a template okay which is nothing but a pure html okay so this is how uh, we'll use different different html files to render different different pages okay so now we have okay and remember this is the logical part okay in the views.py where every kind of logic you have to write okay uh, 
so whatever the data operation you want to perform so okay so for uh, user point of view we need somewhere where user can put that value right to find the uh, information about the number so of course we need a form so no problem we'll get a form any form will be okay form double uh, three school will check i just need a form no need to you know like uh, write it that is just waste of time we'll we'll try this only okay later if you want you can beautify it for now i need only the form thing so i'll just copy this okay okay let me take the heading also okay so in the index.html inside the body okay i'll paste this uh, this html file i'll give like a uh, track your number track track your number okay okay so let's just save this okay and try to run again okay so you got it right so as you see w3 school whatever the output we are getting we, we got it here as well okay but uh, this other we need to do some modifications so that we don't get that john doe we'll remove this oh, i don't want this i don't want this also anyway we just need number right so for number i don't think that we need uh, another text input for last name i mean like we'll be removing this last name thing okay so i'll remove that okay we why i don't think we need another break statement i'm like uh, breaking so label also not required uh, just to make you understand is nothing but like we remove the box right now but still that last name still is there okay so we will remove that as well oh, i was about to remove the submit button we remove that okay so this is okay only so we need number we give like phone number okay phone number why this is coming as small why okay let's see we'll give here also as number only id will give as number only because space is there i don't think Hello, number only here also okay oh this here we can write the phone number okay so save this now when you refresh it see my bad okay now we can actually uh, feed anything here and submit it okay so we are almost there so guys uh, for the new people over here please subscribe to the channel uh, i'll be teaching many more stuff so please learn at your pace this will be very useful for you so please subscribe to the channel